Hi guys, good morning and welcome to MUFC New Year's Daily. Happy New Year to you guys. Hope you had a great night last night, whatever you were doing. I know a lot of you wouldn't have got home yet and probably not even watching this, but hope you had a great night. All the same and Happy New Year to you. Let's hope it's a better year for all of us, including United, with a touch of a silver lining as well. Anyway, getting on with the real stuff and the United news, starting with Louis van Gaal's press conference. United plays Swansea tomorrow, um, first game of 2016, and now the last five or six times we've played against Swansea, we've lost three or four of those, so we haven't got the best record against Swansea at the minute, both at the Liberty and at Old Trafford. We've lost games against Swansea under Louis van Gaal. I remember losing some against under David Moyes as well in the FA Cup. Um, so not the best record against Swansea, but without a manager and without a, a permanent manager in charge for them, it should be an easier task. No easy games in the Premier League though, of course. But Louis van Gaal in his press conference yesterday, a few big quotes come out of that one. He said that he's had rough patches at every team that he's been at um, and that Manchester United fans are without doubt the best of those and he thanked them for sticking with the team. And I've got to say, despite the fact that many fans are split over Louis van Gaal, that in the stadium, during the game, in between those, you know, between the first whistle and the last whistle, every single Manchester United fan in the stadium has stayed with the team. So hats off to the United fans for that. Um, a bit of a questionable one. Louis van Gaal always pulls out random quotes, um, which leave people thinking, hey, what are you on about? Um, but he said, despite December 2015 was a great year. Now, I wouldn't describe it as a great year, but I think obviously December makes us look back on it as it has been a bad year. I was watching the 2015 review of the year in fan cams and it, quite, it shows how hopeful we've been for most of the year and that I think Louis van Gaal overall has done a good job, but there are a few problems there and we need to iron them out. Um, and that's obviously why his job is in question at the moment. And I think if we hadn't gone out of the Champions League, it wouldn't have been that bad overall. It would have been just a rough run of form. Um, but unfortunately we did. And Louis van Gaal has to take that on the chin and has to take the blame as the players. But anyway, let's hope this fix up tomorrow and we get those three points against Swansea. Moving on from that, and the Mirror and a lot of other papers are going on saying that Manchester United, January window, and will go on a splurge. Can't see, can you guys see this happening, really? Can you see Manchester United going on a transfer splurge, as they put it, in this window? Because I can't, I don't even think there's that many players out there that we could actually snap up and that would leave their teams mid-season, um, or their teams would allow them to leave mid-season easily, so... I can't see this one happening, to be honest. Who would you sign, though, if you had a transfer splurge? Um, Lukaku is my top of my list, you know. I think Lukaku, Martial, Memphis could be a fantastic forward three. Both young, got great potential, and can do it at the moment as well. I know Memphis hasn't been doing it, but potentially that could be out of this world. So. I'd be all for getting Lukaku, whether that will happen or not. Everton will try and pull our pants down on the price. Um, but yeah, I'd take that. What do you think? Let us know because the January transfer daily start on Monday. So we'd like to hear all your transfer window thoughts. Moving on from that one and um, following on from Harrison's exciting Schweinsteiger restaurant news. It's not exciting. <laughs> Louis van Gaal yesterday, where did he go for his New Year's Eve meal? Yes, you could have guessed it. He took a visit to Wings in Manchester, his favourite restaurant. Now, he probably hasn't been able to go there after, for a while. Well, he only usually goes there after a Manchester United win. We haven't won in a while, so he probably thought, I need to treat myself. What better occasion than New Year's Eve? And he brought in the New Year with his favourite Chinese meal. Good on you, Louis. Anyway... Better get those three points tomorrow. I'll be at Old Trafford with a full-time Devils crew, so make sure you check that out. Go and check out our end of year review, 2015 videos, both the walk down to Matt Busby Way, and of course, the year in fan camp. Watching that yesterday, it was absolute madness and brought back some great memories. So thank you to everybody that has spoken to me, Gaz, Housen, whoever, 
down the year. Let's do it all again in 2016. See you later. Well, Lou Van Gaal is getting back in from probably the last place he wants to get back in from. David Moyes.